I'm Cassie Peterman, and welcome to the Sun Focus today. Columbia Heights Public Schools has received $150,000 through an E2-T2 grant from the Minnesota Department of Education. At last night's board meeting, Mary Busman, Central Middle School Principal and Dwayne Burgess, Director of Teaching and Learning, said the money will go toward expanding the 2008 engineering program at the middle school. The program will teach students how to apply math and science to solve engineering problems. Money from the grant will pay for interactive whiteboards in all science and math classrooms, portable computer labs, robotics, and other engineering kits. A project is underway to expand and remodel Totino Grace High School. The 15,000 square foot addition will be on the northeast corner of the existing building. An additional 20,000 square feet of existing school space will also be remodeled. The project will not add new classrooms, but is expected to accommodate art, band, choir, wrestling, and fitness rooms. The project will also update the auditorium. After the school was built in 1965, other construction projects included a new garage in 1970, a new addition to the school in 1977, a new garage in 1996, a new running track in 1999, and a new parking area in 2003. The City of New Brighton has a vacancy on its planning commission and is seeking applicants with the hope of filling the chair early this fall. The planning commission advises the City Council on all land use planning matters and meets at 7 p.m. the third Tuesday of every month at New Brighton City Hall. The open position carries a term through March 2011. Applications are open to all New Brighton residents ages 18 or older. Application forms are available at City Hall. Call or visit the website below. For more about the work of the Planning Commission, call City Planner Janice Gunlock. For more about these and other stories from the Sun Focus, visit our website at mnsun.com. For the Sun Focus, I'm Cassie Peterman. We'll see you tomorrow.